I, I think that's something we can check back in on throughout the game. If it has been addressed, if they still get away with it. But it's quite a tantalizing prospect now of has Guild learned their lesson? Do they have a plan in mind? Because as you noted, Guild will be starting out on the attacking side and G2 on the defense. And if you're just tuning in, a 1-1 one -one matchup so far. Guild able to really take Fracture into their own hands and G2 really not having much to say about the matter. But Giuliano instantly noted, so big information found straight away. That's the thing about G2's comp is I, I did criticize it the other day because there's just not a lot of utility to like capitalize on and put yourself mm -hmm. in advantageous fights, right? You have like fade information through smoke. So you, the Reina Leers, but those aren't super effective tools. So it's all about like taking these fights and winning out in them. So I like Guild sort of spotting out what the Reina is now converting back over into this A site because it's all contact plays and Guild have to be very efficient at clearing those out. Well, Kukuku said it, big test for Mimi. And not passing on the first go here. So already going to be cleared, but Glance good at purchasing time. 37 whoa, seconds. Whoa, whoa, look at this lurk from Roxy, by the way. All Ooh. the way into Connector. That could be huge. It absolutely could be. She hits the shot. Still going to get Giuliano, but was instantaneously traded out. So not going to have the full effect they would have wanted, but it's enough that's really kind of kept them guessing. Petra was almost looking back towards B after all of this. Now Mary, big punish on Nest. Now we need to see the fight come back in and they've got it. Pushing down towards Secret, taking pit control and taking Glance out of the equation does at least give this a favorable scenario towards Guild. Spike now down, they're in a 3v2. Oh, the firing squad, Mary gets three and Ace could win the pistol, but just getting charged down now. This is decent. And the spike, and it, it's the spike's in such a bad position for her. They line up for a second, but Claudia gets the kill. And Guild continue to win now. That's three pistols in a row for them now. Thing like consistently losing to one team and then having to pick yourself back up, keep going through these motions. Rabbler should reveal the presence towards Double Door. The other hand, Flash is really well positioned and it's a comfortable clear towards Petra and Giuliano forced away from the angle. Oh, it's perfect. The timing off of the, the Prowler as well. Glance does get one in mid, and now they actually, I believe, note the spike is up here. Or did they not see it again? It's actually dropped back behind window. Oh Glance is oh getting God. three kills, four kills with the Bulldog. But just like last game, G2 don't know that they had the spike in their hands. Oh, no, Ness. How have we gotten here? Well, I guess the one bonus is, as you noted, the spike was undetected. Now, middle... Not nice. Not a oh, Ness, no. Anywhere <laughs> but mid, I promise. I dare you to go anywhere else. And yes, we'll find Glance, but quickly traded out by Mary. Find that one, but that's going to be punishing, especially because, like, I think we can expect the way Guild to play a lot of these rounds is you can expect those mid-round pivots. We didn't really see it last one. That was more of a burst play, but they don't have all the tools at their disposal to very quickly attack and, and secure space. Instead, it's about slowly working their way up. So these good timings through mid can be very punishing. This round, though, just walking straight into the suction there. Two kills are the Roxy. I I don't know. In, in this series, pistols are just better than rifles. I don't get it. <laughs> yes. They always have been. <laughs> um, Monk a gun. Yeah, making making something out of nothing, though, because bear in mind, that was the ghost rather than the two sheriffs that are on deck as well. So... A little bit more threatening than they maybe would have imagined. Maybe hitting the brakes a little here, see if there is that re-explore to Maraud's middle from G2. Not going to happen. They're more stacked towards the cross coming out of up. Have Mary sat there and Mimi. And that's sharp. That's really sharp. Mary's on a heater now. Looking pretty solid in this map so far, but... Just stall out tons of time. But uh, I'd love to see Guild try and make some headway in, in mid again. I really like that attack over towards Double Doors. Uh, against the Chamber Trip, you can really only guarantee lockdown either Arch or B Link. And that's one of the weaknesses of Chamber on this map. Very good at holding down B Long with the Operator and the Teleport. But in terms of that passive Sentinel info control, not as reliable. And you can set up a star just like we just saw from Roxy. The star to block off deep B Link. You can peek around the corner there, potentially break the, the tripwire and then create this lasting pressure. That's what Juliana was so good at on the Reina previously. And I think that's what Guild are preparing for. Yeah, there's the smoke. Okay. They're in close. You can see Juliana lingering up a little close up. You can see the pressure still shown towards the A side, so a bit of an A crunch coming in. A little bit of a... Mm, I mean, there's only three players going here, and G2 have really committed to pushing up this far. They need to get this kill dealt with, because the flank's coming in right about now. Too late in the day, but the trade comes out for Petra, just about keeping this round together. That could have gone to absolute ruin. 
But now 3v3 rotations on that close by. So Petra left her own devices. No bailout system there. Juliana That's caught on the crazy. flank. Claudia is off with the You've got Mary kind of popping off. You've got Claudia hitting hard. And this, I could not imagine a better situation for her. But Mimi puts Claudia to bed and it's a 1v2. Spike Up on my nest. You don't want to walk into the crosshair right here. Claudia went crazy, pushing into spawn almost, even with sight control. And now, an op, op retake just not going to be simple. Maybe trying to bait with this gun on the ground, sees the rifle. And she's got to know they didn't escape. This is oh, such no. a big read from Mimi and knows it so early that Ness is in this position. But Ness is so clutch. Can Mimi clear this corner cleanly? She absolutely can. Figures it out in the 1v2 with so little information putting together the pieces of the puzzle that she was presented. And G2 will get their third, but once again, Ender, this is so much closer than before. And lets them know she got them the the breaking the twip trip wire at the same time your players are pushing into art. So much mid pressure. That's how you break the sight holds on this map, and they're able to crunch the the A main aggression as well. But now it comes down to Mimi. Can they break her operator? And yeah, the Prowler is good enough to force her back off the teleport, and they have the Viper Wall to make it almost impossible for the chamber to peek out through that without the TP ready to go. Another 20 seconds. There goes in. No one close by. Giuliano getting curious. We know what happened to the cat, so Giuliano needs to play this carefully. That's a lot of investment. That's at least three players now noted. They need to be on red alert for this. So we're going to leave one player over towards the A side, but the others all sign to congregate towards the B side itself. Divide going to go in, so G2 held off here. Giuliano has a second of a glance towards a player, but that's about it. Very claustrophobic on site right now, as you see two players trying to reclear towards back hall, but Guild making the decision to play four off site. They have the mollies to play with, I do believe for the post. No, they actually don't. And, and they're losing control over backside. This is really bad with the wall coming up as well. G2 are fully in control of the site. Yeah, they're gonna need something that's gonna set them through this. There, there, there has to be something to deny this. Mimi's on the defuse and Smurfette goes for the knife to check the close wall. No one's there, but Juliana watching. Overwhelmed in the end. Ness tries to go for it, but the defuse couldn't be denied in the end. They keep two players alive. Heat of it, right? It was a very chaotic round with all those walls coming down, but Guild just not being quite on top of the ball when it comes to what ults are online, what utility they have in, at their disposal, because that wasn't lost due to gunplay or anything like that. That was just mm. a complete utility difference and one decision to commit down B long loses them everything. Now, Guild is a really interesting setup. The pistol is just a, a rifle on chamber working in towards art, and this wall should be down in about 20 seconds for the A hit. But there's three players in A main they're going to have to deal with. And I actually really like the extremity control that G2's going for, to try and push up on this. It didn't really work out in the pistol initially. They had that double stack left over towards it, but I think it's a good idea to try and be proactive on the map, and it's worked out really nicely. And then the problem becomes trying to get towards the A site is super difficult because, again, this cross, this angle that Giuliano gets to play with, unless they have something to really allow and facilitate the cross, Giuliano is going to thrive here. But she's getting really a little too far ahead for me, but this Petra, and Petra is going to keep this round in check. No harm, no foul in the end. Three stay alive in that second half so not being able to find much room here is a little bit alarming they do have ness's ultimate for the post plant if they'd like and an interesting wall to try and get them up be long if they want to and and mm. block off an operator but they're not really playing off it it's it's that same art control trying to break down this wall cause some pressure i'd like to see them move in and break that tripwire early if you can break sage wall and the chamber trip in the first 30 seconds of the round you are very very happy and that's going to keep the defense on their toes See if they go through that protocol list early, because you're right, there's a lot of utility in their way if they did decide they wanted to start pressuring, but they're down to about a minute now. It's a little bit of time to play with. Smurfette putting her get-out-of-jail-free card, and there's the trip now gone. So this isn't terrible. Good progress made, about 57 seconds. They've done the early work of trying to deny that uh, committed utility. I'm going to put G2 on red alert, though, now, as noting at least two, potentially three players towards middle. They haven't really gone for a full commit into this B split, fighting into Connector, but do have a flash in the hands of Claudia if they want to go for it. Giuliano in a lot of trouble. Claudia is going to find that kill, and they know there's Connector players, at least two of them. Smurfette gets the first kill and some good zoning, but Petra's going to have to find the right timing to stop the spike. Here she does. The spike is locked up. 25 seconds left. And there's going to be a late backfill to this as well. You've got support on the way. And there's going to be the shot from Mimi still holding down the site itself. There are problems to him out here. There's Glance making her name 
into the feed. Finding Claudia now 13 seconds. They've just got to play to the clock. Roxy and Ness have their work cut out here. Spike left. now back in hand. Glance wants back left. in. And Ness with the punish. Now Petra gives away position. Five seconds. Can they buy any more time? No. The spike's going to go down. And Petra would love to deny it. But that is out of... Well, the realm's a possibility now. 18 HP is all she's got to play oh, with. No. And well, she is looking cooked. Poor HP and a prayer. Star on the ground as well, so if she tries to walk through, potential pull or concuss. I just can't see a way for Petra. No, absolutely <laughs> not. That's, That's good crazy. Work from Gil, though. The site with just one second remaining before they would have run out of time for the plants. Now it looks like an all in piece, really, isn't it? It's four players just flooding through towards A. The response is instantaneous, too, because they have the information. Mimi and Mary are both here. Now, they could back from this, but they haven't really held much of a default, so they have no information on any flanks coming in. So it's going to be a rough one if they do decide to back away, but as it stands, Mimi left down to just the classic, and they aren't going to back from this. So I wonder how much time this eats up having to re-clear, but they're going with full faith that no one's hit that flank. Yeah, it's problematic that the first person to fall was Glance, although at least there is the resurrection coming through. So now they have the stars if they so need for this retake. Just one point off the ultimate as well, and you saw how powerful that was in the in the retake for G2 earlier on. So if Glance can get a kill, that could be huge. Yeah, Petra has to pull away to a slightly deeper angle, but still plays it really nicely. Punishes Smurfette and Mimi's here early enough to spot two. The shot goes astray somehow, looked on the money, but it certainly wasn't. And the push and the pull on the attention, really nice synergy between G2 on the side, making it very difficult for Guild to find a fair fight, leaving Claudia in a 1v4. First, she might get, it's Mimi. The second, she's got to know, was Mary. Another player noted, but it's not enough. Too many bodies on the site already. And G2 again respond perfectly, 6-2 now. Yeah, G2, quick on the rotate, and also by going how they take that site, or just simply avoid fully committing into it from B-Long and working towards Connector a little bit more. Although I do like this wall from Mary a little bit harder to, to bust through, but the way Guild have been playing, they can just time it out. It'll be down in a minute. Juliano, this is bold. Yeah, and you can see why. Good for one, gonna dismiss away. Punish Anya. And Juliano looking to farm up a little hit. You get a little confident in this game. A little bit quieter than prior, but again, last time it was just off the charts. You can't always hold someone to that accountability when they have to perform, but everyone else stepping up to the plate as well here. Guild not finding as much room as they'd want. Neslo going to definitely draw some attention back towards B now. Decides to break the trip instead of dropping into a past it. Not wanting to use that ability on the, on the pistol round. It does mean the scaling threat a little bit lessened. Already a player from G2 rotating over. Mary playing backside can be very hard for a Sheriff to clear out. <laughs> and I love, I just love Giuliano continually trying to force these fights around mid, knowing they're sort of trapped here. Not a lot of headway for them. Yeah, they're long player drops. They got a force into connector, but Mimi's there with the Sheriff. It is falling to pieces a bit for Guild in this round. This is formality now. Roxy, great connection on one, but the op will be recovered. And you're right, it's it, the, getting a much closer game, but sadly the result is very much similar. It's 7-2 to two now. Look at this, three push down B long. G2 have not gone for much B aggression. They've gone for some A aggression and no real multi-flanks, but the smoke comes down and Ness is going to have to book it. The rest of the team sort of rotating into it, but this effectively locks Guild into an A hit. And again, becoming a bigger nuisance now. Giuliano starting to heat into this game. Mimi on the back of the site, not being forced away. Free fights for Mimi here, not quite landing the shot she'd want. But plenty of bites of the cherry and another missed, and now it's getting a little sloppy. There's Roxy and Anya, the one standing. Claudia can be rezzed at this point. No quick threats to this, but the flank's coming in. Maybe not aware. They knew all three had pushed B main, but now someone can come art. That's exactly what Glance is going to do. The smoke drops. Oh, Giuliano's just way too damn good. All right, Anya. No utility in play. Purely the gun at the side and three players to try and dissuade from this defuse, but it ain't going to be stopping. Anya has to face the music. And it's not playing her song. 8-2 to two now. G2 starting to really stride through this game. A little bit of... And now straight back to that A aggression. Same three players. This time they're pushing A. The op is going to keep B on lockdown. And, well, Ness, it's a very similar story, just in the reverse. About to run into that core of G2. 
Yeah, that triple stack that we've seen now a couple of times come into effect worked quite nicely. I do want to see how it looks when they're going to be in full retake mode, though, won't they? Because they can't quite make towards the B side in time. Now, with that being broken, you can see the knock-on effect. They try and make progress here. Now, Ness just about backs away from this, so this will be a relatively quick flank, but it's put a lot of pressure on Mimi. So we're going to find one good for Claudia and backs away to safety. Actually going to get out of there, too, which is nice. We keep our senses about her, but the spike plant will be coming in. This is very nice. Mary falling all the way back into connector, expecting someone to be late coming through. And that three-player retake. They can't quite smoke past that trip. I don't believe they're going to try. And they break it instead. The smoke <laughs> just missed on minimap. That's what I was following on that one. And it's going to be the same idea, I think, where they go two down long and then this late reflank through, uh, through B-Link. I don't know if that Prowler goes far enough to clear Ness. I don't think it did at all, so... Ness going to get away with this position for a little bit longer. Smurfette's punished Mimi, so actually starting to dwindle in numbers now. Ness, good for buying some time, and actually a couple of kills, Ness! Going to find both players trying to push further forward, and Mary, the last one alive. Done. Dealt with. Guild going to make it to three. Come on. Look, they're having a real day. They, they, they've been on the source. They're absolutely loving it. And an aggressive start from Guild, taking the space straight away from A main. Normally they've left that a little bit later, they'll, they'll, they'll posture a little, but this is with full commitment behind it. But still with a heads up approach of keeping track over towards the B long site as well, or B long, should I say. Ness just about peeling away from that, so I could open up a chance for this flank. And the double stack towards middle pushing out here is going to be curious. I wonder how much they get, because looking on a space they're clearing, Guild want everything. They love, I mean, they have a site, but they love pushing into connector. Remember when Claudia did that and got a 3k earlier, she was deadly on that. Smurfette is here, but Glance so perfect on the clear to remove that player. But as I was saying it, Claudia still wants a little bit more. She snuck her way into flowers. So it's the double flank that's important to end this spawn push. Ooh, Giuliano clears Claudia. Anya's timing's good, though. That's it from Guild. Big answers back all at the same time, leaving Giuliano and Mimi, the last two, to try and build any presence into this. Oh, no. Oh, uh, uh, Giuliano somehow finds the timing dancing through the wall. No, no. Anya's got this. Anya has absolutely got this. The lineup's still in play. Giuliano's found another. Oh, God, surely this is... is it's fine, it's fine. Um, she can full tank it. No, she's good. Yeah, there we Wait. go. Wait. She, she could have full tanked it. She, One Viper Molly does not she's kill. She's still fine. She's still fine. <laughs> but she's also good. She's good. <laughs> Playing with her hearts a little bit. Uh, oh, totally, man. Totally fine. And uh, it's totally... In a moment. <laughs> huh. Huh. Heard of that. Um, yeah, and it's, it's quite aggressive, actually, from Guild. They're, they're posturing way more aggressively than they were before, and they're taking space. They, they've pushed out in the middle. They're not just playing, you know, stacked up. They've actively taken the fight. So this is a little bit of a different look, and I wonder how much room someone like Mary's going to be able to get towards the A side. They'll, we'll have to show presence there. And they should ring the alarm bells. The timing could work out quite nicely for G2 in this. And Guild will make it back through, but the wall has gone up. A little bit of a pixel to be shown, so you've got to be cautious on this cross. So the plant should be theirs, and it really just comes down to Anya's flank, actually calling in the reinforcements with Roxy. They have the numbers advantage, so really trying to beat this, but it's a double stack with Giuliano ready to swing off of that, and they're not going to be expecting that. I hate that this corner. Ju I hate this oh. corner so much. I hate it so much. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that Roxy got the kill on it, but now it's down to the 1v1. Mimi, a quiet performance so far, and Ness absolutely clutching up. And keep your eyes on that bar, depleting swiftly. Half is achieved, and Mimi's in danger now. Ness again doesn't know how to lose, apparently. Missed to round one by Guild, and they are making a whole new reputation for themselves, as long as they keep picking up these pistols. Throw for a Guild. Now, they lost round two to start this game off. Not to a force, mind you, just to pure heroics from Petra, sprinting it down mid. That likely not the case here, but Giuliano has a Sheriff, which will always be deadly in her hands. There we go. So, once again. Utility cleared from the door. Early work. Above 1 minute 20. And it calls three players in response. So, Prowler's going to reveal one towards the door side. And Smurfette actually forced off on 5 HP. Not sure who landed that shot, but it's certainly going to put her on red alert here. Needs some support because she is pretty far off. And 
to be careful now. Could be overwhelmed, but feeling confident enough to double dip towards Mary and well, now will give up the site. I love the crunch Guild went for trying to find a Giuliano Lurk. It wasn't there this time around, but Guild clearly have done their preparation after losing out previously, and the retake should be oh so easy for them. Just swarming. A little pistol from Mimi. Very effective. Still going to be clean enough round for a guild to close this one out. And I, I, I just can't stress enough how important it is. But certainly impactful. And now we see what they can do on their bonus. This is the one that could be pretty essential to the knock-on effect of the game. If they do big damage, they do slow down G2's money really getting out of control, and then it becomes more and more likely they convert. But let's see what G2 do. A little bit of tension shown early towards the, the B side of the map, but congregating over towards A. I don't know if this is a read or, or a plan G2 went in with initially, because guilds love these three-player pushes down long B. They really like to catch you off with those Aster Stars that you look to try and get past over towards Sign. But once again, Sight relatively open. Hopefully no one jumps and Big makes input. their heads available this time around, but the wall has been broken. The plants come in. Steez goes through. I don't think anyone there really to capitalize on it. Actually, maybe they could have over towards Pip and Mary Sharp. And it's a good trade for Ness, but quickly handled. So that's one rifle down for now. Not really recoverable as the last two players will be coming in through from short. Giuliano comfortable on the spray and Anya already noted earlier on. Should be found pretty swiftly here. And four standing. So would have been nice to see them maybe chip away a little bit further. Would have loved to see another kill coming out there for Guild. Maybe punish G2 a little bit more. Force them to double doors. I am so down. Like, what a what a creative way of potentially dealing with that Giuliano Lurk. Decides not to do it at the start of round, at least. Some early attention put over towards A main, but Gilda really trying to fight into this one. And a tag glance, taking down a 51. No tag and no frag, and they turn attention. They want to avoid that operator and play the tour de force, and maybe a, a good shout on that one. Giuliano already pressuring towards middle, going to make these rotations a little bit trickier too, but has to give that space away. They're invested, but between the smokes, it doesn't really affect them. It's going to be Roxy on the back of the site, and Mimi slipping the net, or at least try to. Claudia drags her back down to reality. Back site, completely deafened. Roxy has nothing but tries to fight back into Petra. Petra's still alive. And now getting the pinch down, Anya finds a couple. It's just Giuliano down towards long. Spike planted for her, but four players alive. Has to do something immaculate. Just not going to be the case. As Ness locks that round down. Really good counter util from Guild to stop that, that B-Link crunch. And the retake, absolutely perfect as they dealt with the backside players with ease. And here's the thing, right, is G2's comp does not have good utility for clearing space. Again, most of it's going to be off of, like, Sage Slow lineups and Prowlers connecting uh, at the same time. As you can see, just contacting through A main. So the op is very difficult to deal with uh, from G2's side. They can't really shut that down. And the res will be good, but if Guild are able to stop the lurks from Giuliano, G2's attack will suffer. Giuliano yeah, trying to slip a little deeper down. It's going to be 1v1 against Roxy at this point. Both confident players, good aimers. That's the nice thing, though. Battle. Shutting down the lurks requires oh, the winning your gunfights the or flash. playing off your team's utility. Claudia. 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 Dirty flash towards long. I'm Instant starstruck. Instant swing. <laughs> I, look, I've, pl I've, look, I've played a couple games with Claudia. She's She's nuts. She's nuts incredible to play with. Love a bit of that. Um, as it stands though, G2 eyeing up the A side, but there's so many players here. Two towards, well, one pit, two towards secret. Here. And the problem is that actually Anya's the one to get found, so Mary has a whole lot more to deal with. Smurfette's still here, but he's going to be put down, decay left. down for a second or two. Zero availability to be able to call anything or hear anything as that seize came in. Now with the plant, they have a 3v2. Ness towards CT. They want to find Roxy as well, looking likely towards Arten. Absolutely is Petra. First one to it, and Roxy's gone. Down. Ness has done some magic today, but I don't know if it's going to work out this time around. The tag takes her down to 23. Almost gets it on the pre-fire, but very likely just going to be the call to save this rifle. Not their, that their economy is in too bad of position, but just a pretty much unwinnable round for them. It's kind of it's kind of hilarious with Giuliano going for the lurk down B long and losing. Like Mary has just turned into the entry for the team, and the value she has gotten just sprinting into sight. 
Mm -hmm. Very little util to support her has been... Uh, right. Learn of a Flash lineup, or learn to, to come up with that on the fly, like Claudia just did right there, and you are instantly a fantastic KO. There is just not good left-click flashing in Valorant right now. It's not widespread enough, but Claudia has very clearly put in the practice, and it shows. I mean, she was forged in the fires of CS. Those flashes should be second nature to her in that regard. She is uh, incredibly talented in that way, but as it stands... We look at what we have here, and it's a default. It's a deeper default from G2. Looking maybe to punish any of the aggression, knowing that the buy could be a little bit here and there, a little bit out of sorts. Bulldog is recovered, but Smurfette does give away the position. So they're going to note that there was two players, maybe even more, trying to apply pressure through middle. So the sites might be vulnerable, but what do they do now, G2? They decide... They're going back in for the fight. They want more of this, and they're going to find more of it. Good spray from Giuliano in the end. Does it just well enough to take down Smurfette, but it's Ness holding down by the door, and Ness is such a round-changing player. And what did G2 do off the back of this? The A site is open, but they still have the, the wall to play with for Guild on this retake. That's going to cause G2 to slow things down just a little bit, but right now the guild players, Roxy and Ness, just holding hands. A couple of mollies to block out a choke to maybe clear pit, something like this. And they're going the long way around. So this wall, while yes, it blocks off any art play, it makes guild fairly confident on the retake. No one can be art, so G2 are going to fight forward on the site, and I think that's the right decision given the circumstance. But you have to get past Ness, and you just can't, but Glance gets both to secure the round and take it to map point buy in hand and they've got the current purchase they have the divide they, they have pet results who they have so much to invest into this and g2 could just potentially death ball it you'd need a bailout round from one of these players smurfette could be it not gonna land those shots she wanted it's the perfect ult for the anti-eco right or the, or the against the force by just the free plant wall the smurfette peeks past it can't find the second that could have blown the round wide open but all four players are here ready for the retake, and that's gonna call G2 to hit the gas or hit the brakes rather. Okay, it's all gas, no brakes though for Guild, who've invested everything. They just put in almost I think they put in all of their ults. Yeah, they absolutely did, and it's gonna be an instant backpedal. G2 are out of there. They are running the hell away towards A, or at least maybe middle. They've got a minute still to play with. They've got plenty of time. And the problem is that, that was precious utility for Guild. They didn't have much coming in. And now it's going to be a race to the side. Look towards Pit. The two players who can maybe do something about denying this. The horn's timing is going to be lovely. Doesn't actually find another player, but it does reveal as soon as they had to shoot it. Ness tries to slip ahead of it, punished by Mimi, and now it's down to three. Nightfall catches one. Just two players from Guild, and they have to clear out Art. How is it even possible with the post-plant util, the Deafens coming in? Roxy needs someone to swing into a crosshair, but... G2 are just too tempered, waiting for the plant or the defuse, and the perfect crossfire to come. Last player standing. Removed. And it's going to be lights out. Anya, one versus three. Two players to her right. No one swinging in toward the time working against her. Anya gets one, but it's just not meant to be. Glance is going to swing around from A main and secure Pearl for G2. Their defense was flawless. And yeah, they struggled a bit on attack, but G2 are now one map away from...